me being in my fourth year in the OHL, I uh, noticed that um, my my first year actually uh, you were allowed ten fights in 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 a, in a season, you know. So um, with all the players in the league that were you know extremely tough guys to play against, I, I definitely say I mean I was pretty scared to play against those guys, but at the same time I I, I kind of missed the uh, the the game back the way it was. I mean. Obviously, it's 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 changed over time, but um, I noticed a lot of more a lot more smaller guys and, and and more skilled guys. It seems more of a, a skilled player's game. Yeah, uh, you know, even over my time in the OHL, it's definitely changed to much more uh, you know a game built around speed and skill more than the physical. Like there's not many quote unquote goons left nowadays, and there's a lot more speed and uh, skill. Like I said, so that's how, that's how I've seen it change most, to be honest. It's a good question. You know, I look at our coaches we have this year with Jay McKee and Barnaby and the stories they've told me about, you know, if a guy steps up and hits a guy at the blue line, you know, there's a big fight afterwards. And I think, look at the OHL now with the three fight rule, I think uh, they're really trying to take fighting out of the game. So if you, if I put it into a new era, I'd just be like, it's more skill. In the past, there's been like a lot of tough guys, a lot of fights, and that was the name of the game. And now it's becoming more skilled guys. I think that uh, they're trying to eliminate fighting and dirty hits from the game, so I think it's changing in that way. Uh, I feel like it's more leaning towards skill now instead of like a grittier, chippier game. I feel like you're going to need to have more of a skill set to be able to make it to the NHL or move on from juniors or whatever you're playing before. I think it's still like, like still the same, like physical and everything. But I think right now they're more like skill guys right now, and like I think in hockey more like. There's no more like a lot of fighting, you know, and like no more like hitting and, uh, but like, I don't know, I think there's more skills and everything, so I don't know, I think I like it like that. I think my decade would be a uh, co combination of speed, physicality and skill. Uh, I feel like back in the olden days, it was kind of more like a, like a hard hitting, hard nose kind of hockey, but now it's kind of a combination of both speed, skill and physicalities. I think just speed and quickness really. Probably go with speed. I mean you look at the evolution guys are getting faster, stronger just with uh, what they're coming up with for training it's just uh, developing more and more so definitely speed. I mean this is this being my third year um, I mean my first year is more of a hitting kind of game and now it's now it's more of a possession and skating type game so I think that's probably the biggest changes. So as a goalie, you just gotta be focused and um, be ready for plays that that maybe generally you won't see um, like back to back, like because teams are gonna go up and down the ice, right? So, but I mean, regardless of it, you just gotta be ready. Uh, the game's just getting a lot faster. You know, they're taking the obstructions out of the game, and you know, everyone relies on their speed and, and their smarts nowadays. You know, faster passes, harder shots, and you know, skating's probably the biggest asset a guy can have. I'd say this decade's all about uh, hockey sense, hockey IQ, and speed. Like the speed of the game's uh, faster than ever. So um, the quicker you are making decisions, the quicker you are on your feet. Um, the obviously, better you're going to be. Well, I think hockey now is coming to, uh, down to systems. Who can play the who can play the better systems uh, than the other team or your opponent um, this year? I think uh, the speed factor that a team can have can really differentiate the, the game of the, uh, the style of the play and the, and the outcome of the game. Going every year I play through, it seems to get faster and faster, so it's always a, a big emphasis on, uh, on teams when they choose their players to have guys that can definitely keep up with the speed as it elevates every year. Maybe a little while ago the, the size wouldn't have been mixed with the speed and skill, um, but now everybody's big, everybody's strong, everybody's physically, most guys are physically mature and and then they, they got the speed and skill components to the game as well. So it's, I think for the most part, it's probably the speed and skill of this generation. I don't, I don't know really about if it affects the game overall. I think the biggest, biggest new rule in the OHL is the three fight rule and then also the, the icing rule is kind of, I don't know, adds a little bit more speed into the game as well. The hybrid icing, I, I don't really mind it. Um, it's definitely uh, a different uh, feeling in the game, but uh, I noticed that uh, it is a bit more safe to me. I mean, if two guys are racing to a puck, if one guy can, you know, if, if you know, the defender can get to the puck first and then the ref, you know, blows the whistle and, and the play's dead and, you know, just goes right back down the other end. But if 
you know, the forward who obviously iced the puck, let's say, gets the puck first. I mean, that's fair game, I guess. So I, I don't really uh, necessarily mind the, the new hybrid icing rule. This is my first year with any sort of uh, race for the puck. Really, last year I just had ref would blow it down, but I love it because it gives me a chance to beat the defenseman of the puck, makes the game a lot more interesting. Um, I personally like it, and I think it's changing the game too. It's speeding up the game, and really people have set plays off. And now, if you're in your D zone, you can flip your finger and you're down the other side of the zone if you just dump it down. So I think it's changed the game a lot with the speed and the pace. Another impact for speed, I think you can. You can chase down defenders that are a little, a little slower, and forwards can, you know, get that extra battle, get that extra edge on, uh, on an icing, and overrule it. Speed. I mean, speed's just getting quicker. That guys can beat the call. So, by having that rule, I mean, if a forward can beat a defenseman, then I agree with it. There shouldn't be an icing if you can beat them. It shouldn't just be whether the puck crosses the line or whether a player can actually get to the puck first. So I think that's uh, definitely a good rule. I think when I was when I started out in the league, it was just as soon as you iced it, as soon as you got over the red line, that was it. So I think that now, it adds that some teams may plan for to dump it and send someone fast, go get it, and it kind of negates the icing, and and so it definitely changes that game, kind of opens it up a little bit, and adds maybe a little bit more scoring here and there. And uh, I don't know, it doesn't doesn't change much. I think just you got to keep it in the back of your mind, you know, that you're gonna have to race out a puck if uh, if it does go for icing, and you know, it's just. I don't know, I guess it adds a, a little more pressure on you as a defenseman. Yeah, at first uh, I almost forgot about the rule. There was an icing and them chasing a guy down and almost just gave up because the puck was going to go down. And then it clicked in my head that, oh wait, the rules change and you know you got to get the Jets going and try to beat that guy down there. Uh, well, you definitely got to skate a lot harder as a defenseman. You can't just uh, wait for the puck to cross the line. You have to get there. And I mean, there's a lot of speedy forwards in the league and they'll try to track you down. So it's but I think it's it's definitely a lot safer than the old rule. I mean, there's not a lot of, because uh, they call it down when you get to the hash marks and whatnot, and it goes to the first player there. So I definitely think it's a lot. I, I like the rule, to be honest. I think it keeps the flow of the game going a lot better. I think they did that so there's no a lot of injuries, you know, like uh, if the guy first in the pocket, then they're going to blow the whistle run away. So it's like, it's kind of produced like not a lot of injuries, and uh, I think it's better. I think like, that's what all the guys like it and so that's a new thing uh, this year with uh, having to skate back and if if you're at the, the dot or whatever I think it, it does save some injuries for you don't have to skate all the way to the puck and you're not gonna try and kill yourself going in and, and you know somebody loses an edge or whatever and you go hard into the boards because you're skating hard trying to get the puck I think it gives the, uh, each team a little more freedom I think that yeah, last year was the safest, and this year it got a little unsafe because there's always a race for the puck, but I think that there's always a chance to beat out an icing, so it's not like if you ice it, then you can't change. You know, you always have the momentum and uh, the speed to try and get the icing and beating, beating it. So I think that, yeah, it's a little less safe, but I think it gives each team a little more freedom when it comes to when they have to ice the puck. Uh, I think it's good, and uh, I think like it's it's you can really uh, strategize to it. I know there's a couple plays that we run where we're just going to send a guy and throw the puck down there. I think it creates a lot of more zone time and offense. The hybrid icing. I mean, you see uh, you see the the game change from uh, touch icing to hybrid icing, which is good, which just creates like battles for for like whoever gets the puck first is if it gets waved off it does and you got to be ready for that. I, I feel like it opens the game up more for a lot more scoring. Uh, you know, you can you can create more tactics on it for sure and put it, put the puck in there and uh, beat the defender. Uh, you, you can't just coast back there. And I feel like it makes the game a little bit more entertaining for the fans too.